Chase Lee Hockey with the Blue Futon. And last night I saw a movie called Major Is It. Movie from India. Should you figure out who this Major Sandeep is? Let's find out. So Major, what's about the very simple premise X where we are following the life of Major Sandeep? I'm going to probably say his name completely wrong or his last name wrong, so I'm so sorry, so I'm going to call him Major. This is a story about the Hotel Mumbai uh, terrorist attack that happened November 26, 2008, and what he did in the building to save as many hostages and kill as many terrorists as possible. So did I like this movie? I thought it was a very entertaining movie, but has some major flaws when trying to do something very Hollywood-esque, blossom blockbusters type of film and then tell this live story of this major in the army of the India so I'll give the negatives of the movie first and I'll say the biggest negative is the blockbustery aspect of this movie as well as some dialogue choices and camera choices so let's go with those three order number one the blockbustery choices it feels like with this you know true story of this hotel Mumbai terrorist attack where 175 people died and over 300 people were injured it is a very serious and very brutal event, and that is very positive. They show the brutality in this movie, but with the whole, you know, killing these terrorists, it just felt very blockbustery, and it took me out of the movie because I'm like, this is a true event. This person really died, and even though he was doing some badass stunt in the movie, with some of the choreography, like hand-to-hand -hand combat with the terrorist in the red shirt, was absolutely fantastic. But you just don't know what actually was real. And what was fake. Same with the divorce stuff with the family and everything like that. So I just wish I knew what was more real and what was more, I'll call it, India fake for Hollywood. And or for, you know, that country as a whole. But man, the action almost took me out because I'm like, this is a true story. This feels very fake. And I'm like, I kind of want to know what actually this person did. Which is almost impossible to do because you're in a real life situation that he did not make it out alive. So you kind of have to, you know. Tell his honor, tell his story in a very patriotic way, which they did absolutely fantastic job of like how this guy is willing to die for his country. And he joined the army for a reason. And he's like, you know, what? I need to save these people before putting me first. And not a lot of people in this world can do that. And then with that, we'll go with the dialogue. Some of the dialogue did feel very soap opery. And it was just more of like, oh, why did we say it? It was very cringe of like, you know, the love interest and then him talking to a superior officer about going into the building. Some stuff just didn't mesh with me as well as his camera angles because when they would say something, they would like look up and be like, oh my God, revelations type of thing about the love interest as well as the, uh, the commanding officer. So that kind of took me out of it as well. And so with that, those are the negatives. But the movie is super well made, super informative, and is super just like brutal at the same time because when the terrorist attack does happen and the bombs start coming out in these cars and this guy, literally there's a scene where the first gunshot goes off in the hotel. It fucking hits you and it's like, boom, you're in this action. Get, you're the front row seat of fucked up shit and it really goes that deep and you're like, holy shit, we are in the nitty gritty. And I will say one thing, this movie does do it. When I said in my first reaction review, multiple things are the same worldwide. A, Bad people are everywhere. They're going to kill you with bombs, with knives, with arrows, with guns, with cars. It doesn't matter. If they have an agenda, Pakistan versus India in this uh, situation, they're going to kill you and they don't care how. They will do damage to you. And they, so whatever a country does, someone wants to do harm to you, they're going to find a way to do it. And then media. Media doesn't care who lives, who dies. It's all about that Nightcrawler, Jake Chillenhawk type of thing. They will, when it bleeds, it leads. And they don't care what they're going to do. If they think it's going to fucking give them ratings, they're going to snitch out on these police officers and everything like that with the NSG. I think that's what they're called. If it was very true, we're like, these NSG officers are in this uniform. You're just like, what are you doing? Like, you got to think. I mean, D Dan uh, Diane Feinstein also did it with the serial killer uh, in the 1970s where it's like, this is the shoe. This is the bad guy. You're just like, are you trying to just say fuck you and just like put your mark on like, oh, I'm more important than catching this killer. And I just feel like that's the same way with politicians and media at the same time. But I did like the love story in this movie as well because it wasn't forced and it wasn't like predominantly in the center story. Yes, it's in it. 
and there wasn't going to be a uh, a happy ending. And you completely knew it just because of how his personal style is and everything like that. And the humor in this movie works. There's a Baywatch scene which is absolutely hysterical and everything like that. But it takes about an hour. There's an intermission in this movie for that didn't need to be in there as well because it's only two and a half, uh, two hours and ten minutes. But what, after that intermission, it is nonstop, fast paced, messed up stuff is about to happen with guns, with terrorists just killing multiple people just nonstop, and it is very brutal. So major overall is a very interesting movie. But I do wish it went more realistic instead of like making it like a Hollywood blockbuster with him trying to kill these terrorists. I understand what they were doing, and they're trying to, you know. A patriotic ending which I completely understand and he absolutely deserves it for what he did trying to save all these civilians trying to save as many people as he can on his own task force and then kill these motherfucking terrorists that deserve to die miserable deaths because that last terrorist death was pretty like you know fuck yeah like you deserve to die overall so major will receive a three and a half out of five of futons which equals at 70 percent so see the critics new scores gave this one so you have critics there's one of them and it is a positive, a 3 out of 5, so 60%, but that's still a positive, according to Rotten Tomato, that's still 100%. Audience score, 98%, with over 50, with no critic consensus. So we do have the 100, the 98, and my 70. I do feel like if more people or critics see it, it will go down in the ratings for sure. But man, great story. I wanted to know more about it, and that's what a movie is supposed to do. It's supposed to take this event in time, the Hotel Mumbai incident, and make the viewer go, I need to do research about the person and his actual incident, and that's what made me do it. But I just wish it just didn't feel a little fake at the end. So, 70, 100, 98. Chase Doctor with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let well, you know what you think of Blue Topia. You're Blue Tonians. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And let's be honest are you brave enough? Will you die for your country? Will you die for other people? I would say 85% of the world. No. I'm sorry. We have a bunch of pansies out there now. Like, if a person gets raped on a train, do something about it. Seriously, what the fuck?